I really like this car. It's a 1930 Ford Model A. It doesn't have the running boards on it. Um, you notice how the wheels are and stuff. It's got the bigger, I don't know whatever tires are supposed to come on at stock, but these are bigger. I'm sure that makes it a little more stable, but it looks like it's uh, pretty much stock. I mean, that's, you know, your stock engine in there, right? That's the way it is. Uh, but it's lightened up a lot, you know? There's no disc brakes in it or nothing like that. See, these are all, these aren't even juice brakes. These are like, Chevy came out with juice brakes sometime in the 1930s. These are all like, you gotta put some, put some leverage into it. You gotta have strong legs to stop this thing. So, I like this though, man, because it's like, it's not a princess car, you know? It's like really, it's just there. <laughs> Yeah, it's sweet. It's a nice car. Now, I think what they added, though, is the dual lights because uh, there would have been, I think before, there was one brake, brake light on these cars in the, in the originally. So it's got the turn signals and the brake lights and the running lights. But it's like, a, it's a stock car. It's just got the fenders off it and the running boards off of it. Um, the tires, I, I assume, I assume with these tires, I think they're a little bit bigger diameter so you probably get a little more top end out of it a little more stable and it's lighter and it looks cool i mean it really really looks cool like this to me that really looks awesome get the mirrors up there Let's get dual mirrors on it this thing is really cool you know if you buy an old one you don't want to go crazy worrying about a chip in the paint and stuff like that and all this restoration junk this is what you want to do you want to go like this 